Hello, my name is Carx82, and welcome back to my Greg Tech New Horizon series. Uh, as we can see, I am still trying to get the Galvania leaf, and we currently have a weed growing. Um, so that's kind of what it looks like. Um, thankfully, the tooltip kind of says it for me, so I don't even have to worry about uh, scanning it. Um, but the weeding trial will get rid of that. Just right click it and you will get the weeds. Um, anyway, I am still crafting up a whole bunch of stuff here. Um, just um, yeah, getting my. I feel like I had. Did that go somewhere? I feel like it went somewhere. <laughs> Oh, it went in there. Okay, so I was. I know I put polyethylene sheets in there, but I forgot to turn it, so I need three more in there. Yeah, I forgot to point it towards that machine. Alright, but uh, slowly crafting everything up. Um, as we can see here, I got that. I got some of these. I got. I finally got the reinforced door and the pressure plate built. So I'm moving on to this. Um, so, yep, yeah, it's not not too bad yet. <laughs> I say that um, when I haven't really got to the hard part yet. Um, so yeah, I'm still cooking up my black steel or yeah dark steel wait I'm getting myself all sorts of confused here. right I had uh, dark steel on me that's right uh, I need the black steel is what I need to be cooking up um, so I need to mix right a bunch of this down um, I think that's, yeah, I don't want to do it all because I still have other stuff uh, to craft here. But anyway, um, I will we'll be uh, back after I kill a slime. Can't find it. I think it's like hidden underwater or something like that. Um, but yeah, I'll be back when uh, we get a little farther to building this multi-block. All right, making steady progress here it's quite slow going though unfortunately but there is the clean room controller done so now all i'll have left is the filter machine casings and these plascrete locks yeah so still taking a while i got a bunch of black steel uh, cooking up here, but it's just kind of just waiting for it to uh, finish, really. Um, the pollution, though, is right over the limit, even with the MV muffler hatch on it, unfortunately. And I think it's probably because I have the boiler and the, the blast furnace, like, right next to each other. So this is putting out its own pollution and then it's sharing it with this. Um, so it's not really getting a chance to dissipate very well, I think. Um, let's see. Yeah, because like even this chunk now has 180. Even this chunk has nothing in it. Not a single machine in it. And it has 361,000. So pollution is starting to definitely <laughs> become a bit of an issue here. Um, and this chunk, the one I'm living in, is it about 400? That one's okay. What do we have over here? Green glow shroom. Um, I'm not really... Um, the only one I'm going to save is if it's like a higher tier, but that's a lower tier, so... Oh, and I actually got 
the seeds off that. So I will just kind of throw them in here. I got huckleberry seeds as well. Um, can I eat this? No, but apparently you can place it anywhere. Interesting. I'll just throw that in there. Anyway, I just wanted to show kind of the my progress here and uh yeah that's i may have to deal with this pollution uh see it drop down there though uh if i spread to there Ooh, look at this one this chunk has 190,000. um so that's a bit a bit worrisome i do have this uh pollution scrubber if needed but man that like tears through those those filters all right, but anyway, uh, we will be back when I get um, some more progress. All right, I think I am ready here. I got all my black steel. Um, I got my concrete. I got all my filters done. Um, filters actually weren't that bad. Uh, just a whole lot of carbon. Uh, that I went through. And I have a little bit left. I don't remember where I put them. Anyway. Um, so I need to... First I need to turn these into rods. So let's just go ahead and do that. Um, I think I need at least... What is it? 160 something? 164 I need. So what is, I think I have, I think I made just enough. So I did do the right. Yeah. Okay. So that's going, uh, we have our filters here and I'm going to throw those in there. Actually, I need these three. Actually, I'll just leave those in there. Um, so my bags don't get too uh, too full here. All right, so now the concrete I need to get out of that. So we'll just use my under road tank. Uh, I wonder if I can pull out the front. I'm not sure if that's just not allowed to be in that um, I think it yeah I don't know if it's just not letting me do it from the front so let's see if I can let's move this let's try that yeah okay so you can't pull from the front that's good to know I didn't think you could but um, it's always good to find out. Um, all right, so this is empty. I should. I have a whole lot of stuff running. I should probably throw a couple. Actually, I may do that right now. Um, let's. I do have a muffler thing in here somewhere. And how difficult are these to make? Wood pulp. Oh, these are super easy to make. I didn't realize they were that easy, to be honest. I'm gonna do... How about we do like... Yeah, they just take a while. Um, now, which one do I wanna put this in? We'll put them in there and then I'll go use my other one. All right. And these, I believe you just right click on the machine. Let's just see if it. Yeah, it made it a little more quiet. Oh, no, there it goes. It turned it off the sound. So yeah, definitely going to use a couple of those. Anyway, um, we will 
take this and let's put it in this one. All right, so there's the wet concrete. Now I have tons of rods in here. This is actually might take a little while now that I'm thinking about it. Um, cause these, oh, these take 10 seconds. Okay. So let's see these I can do with a wrench. I'd rather do it with that. Um, let me get the, uh, all this black steel, um, turned into rods and turned into the, um, black steel um the the frames i think what is it the frames yeah all right i think i got all the black steel frames um just realized i am missing the i think it's polyethylene pulp and i think i can just get those from yeah i need one to one so i need 82 i can just get this from pulverizing um, and it should be pretty quick. And I have tons of polyethylene because I was, I just had these kind of backlogging. So 86 would be what? Or 82 I need. 18? I think I can just put it, yeah. How long do these these do take 10 seconds all right so let's go get these going and then we can start building this structure here uh, actually they are oh it is 10 seconds is that it is, yeah, it's an MV recipe. I was thinking it was an LV. Um, but there we go. There is our Plascrete. Now I need to, unfortunately, I need to have all these in my inventory before I can finish this up. So I may have to cut again. I keep thinking I'm ready to build this and then I realize that it's taking longer than I think. And while I'm over here, let me double check. Oh, got weeds. Yeah, I'm hoping I get this uh, Galvania leaf, but it's taking forever for sure. So I'm done. I did a stack. Now I've done, I've done it 40 times. I've cleared those out and put a new one. All right, so once again, uh, let me wait for all these to craft up. And then I think that is, yeah, that's everything. Um, I believe I'm gonna put it right here. It's a five by five block structure that can be expanded. And I thought about maybe putting it out there, but I have such a large, like such a large room in here. I may as well put it in here. And this way it's closer to the power cables. Um, also, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I did I put a combustion generator here um, and then just fed it some um, I gave it some just some fuel. So it's uh, it was charging up this machine and I've actually pulled out a whole lot of oil from this already. Um, but it's much easier than transferring the batteries back and forth. I do like the batteries because they do add um, some extra runtime. I guess. I don't know if the batteries are even necessary, to be honest. Um, but anyway, just thought I would show that out. Okay, so let me come back in about five minutes, I think, it's going to take for this to do. And uh, we will build this multi-block. 
And finally, we have all the things for the clean room. And that opened up the vacuum freezer. Nice, because that was kind of one of the other ones I wanted to be doing. All right, so that is perfect. Let me just um, drop a couple of those in there. I'll probably open up those at the end of the episode, maybe. Um, let me get these weeds out of here. And let's go ahead and see how this thing is built. Now, I've never built this before, and uh, I've never used this machine before, or this multi-block, so I, I'm kind of guessing it's just like a a room you put the machines in. Um, okay, so I'm thinking it's 5x5. Five five. And uh, I'm thinking I want to put it down one into the floor, maybe. Um, how about we do about right there with start. Blast resistance 1500. Okay, so if I put these down, I got to be really careful with these because I can't break them again. All right, so be careful with that. Um, this may not be pleasant because I don't know how this is actually built. Um, let me look at the, the quest again. For all the edges, you'll need a control in the top center. Filter machine casings for the rest of the top except edges. Okay, so what I'm assuming... It wants me to build a five by five. So one, two, three, four, five. Is that right? Yeah. So I'm kind of guessing everything. I don't know if I want to do it that way yet. I wonder if there's, oh, pickaxe. No, pickaxe, yeah. It's going to take me forever to break those if I misplace it. So let's be careful. All right. So the question is, how do I get the power? Does the power have to go in the top? No. Yeah, so... Top center, okay, that's easy to figure out. Filter machine casing, so the rest of the top except for the edges. All right, so let's at least one, two, three, four. And then we'll have five. So I'm... I'm guessing what it's saying is like this. It needs to be all the edges like that. All right. So let me. So that leaves. Yeah, okay. So that leaves the one. No, okay. So. There's the eight filter machine casings. We'll put those around the outside. I'm guessing this goes there. Like that. And let's see, we have 38 more of these. So the question is, where do I put this stuff? Can I put it like down? I'm guessing, yeah, you can just replace any of the any of the side blocks. Let me, what does it say, on the actual? Okay, it needs the door. Um, 
That's hollow. Uh, controller top center. Yeah, top besides controller. And edges, filter casings, did that. So the reinforced door, I guess we'll just... Uh, does it have to go like that, I'm guessing? And I'm assuming that is the reason they want the pressure plates. And then I kind of fill everything else in. It says 5% of the plascrete can be reinforced glass. Through walls. So I don't know if the floor can be... I'm not sure if the floor can be... Is that considered a wall? Or is that... Yeah. Energy hack. Yeah, up to 10 machine hull through walls. I was hoping the... Anyway, let's... I'm going to maybe... Let me actually... Let me test this out in a... No, let's just do it. I was going to say, let me test this out, but... Um, so when we go in here, the, whatever machines I'm going to be putting here, I'm not going to be putting a whole lot of machines in here, but this is how they'll get power, I'm guessing. Or is that, eh, I'm a little, or is that how it gets power? Because this doesn't output. All right, let's put the machine holes that way. I think they have to go like that, maybe? I have no idea. And I guess a maintenance hatch back here. All right, well, that's everything. That leaves 38. Class creates, so I guess we will see what happens when I fill this all in with the class create. Now we can replace some of these with reinforced class if we want to see in here. <clears throat> All right, that changed colors, so. All right, um, let's go see if this, all right, there we go. Okay, so that did work. That So this is how you build the clean room. Um, I'm not sure, I wanna test if these will work in the floor because I'd rather have the energy hatch coming out the floor, maybe. Um, good thing I brought the other pressure plates, otherwise I wouldn't be able to get out. Although that's only hardness 50, so that's... Yeah, that's not as bad. All right, but this is the multi-block, and then the... I got to figure out, like, is it like that? No, that's not how it works. Of course not, because that would be... The power has to go into that, so it has to be like that. Um, these haven't changed, though, so I'm a little... I thought these would, like, change colors, but they didn't, so maybe I did something wrong with that. Um, let's go ahead and fix the... Um, let's go ahead and fix the, uh, issues. So I got this wire cutter one. No, I don't think it is. Soft mallet, soldering iron. Screwdriver, crowbar, and the hammer. 
All right. Well, it's raining and my oil rig's not exploding, so that's a good thing. Yeah, I don't know if those are supposed to change or not. I don't. I don't know. All right. So that should be all the problems sorted out. All right, so it does appear everything is working. Does this tell me anything I need to know? Max income or Nex energy. Oh, you got a problem, zero efficiency, pollution in chunk. Yeah, I have quite a lot of pollution in this chunk, but I don't think that actually matters in the, the clean room. All right, so this accepts two. So... Let's see, how many do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, about thirteen. Um, I think we'll do two X just in case the just in case it pulls the um, two amps. So what did I say? Thirteen? All right, and then we'll see what happens when I um, put the power in. Um, I'm a little confused as how we connect the machines. Like where, do I run cables out of that or do I run cables out of, I think I run the cables out of these to be honest. Um, I feel like I read that it might have been on the wiki that I read that you pipe them the stuff into these machines and then they auto output maybe um, yeah but there's no like you can't like click on that or anything All right, so that will get those. Um, I wonder if I could maybe somehow test this. Do I have any? Do I have any way to like? Do I have a hopper anywhere? <laughs> I don't think I have a single. Have, have I ever made a hopper? I don't even know if I've actually made a hopper. I'm gonna. Guess no. I don't even think I have actually. Actually, do I need to? Now that I'm thinking about it, do I actually need to do? I mean, I can just walk in and feed the items, don't I? I don't need to do what I'm. I don't need to automate it yet. I mean, I can walk in. I think if you want to automate it, that is um, how you get the items in the actual multi-block structure. Um, I would like to test, I don't know, if we can get power to a machine. So I, I don't know, maybe we'll borrow the, enter, the wire mill and see how we get power to this. I think that will, yeah. I could have sworn I read somewhere where, it, I think it must have been the wiki, um, that said to put the, the items through the machine casings, because I've never used a machine casing in a multi-block before. Alright, but I think what's going to be going in this room is a circuit assembly machine, an MV version, and I think I need a cutting machine in there as well. I think, if I remember, um, this needs to be in a, yeah, it needs a cutting room. So cutting machine and the other, the circuit assembler, which I will 
need to look into MV circuit assembling. Yeah, um, e this is easy to make. I have all this stuff uh, except for the two circuits, which aren't difficult, but a bit of a pain to make. Let me just check to see what's going on over here. I got strawberries, which I don't need. I have them growing outside. Um, I'm going to leave these for now. I did get some stingberries. Um, these can be turned into strength potions, so I figured we'll keep those, but uh, I'll worry about that. Um, and I put a second one to help with this. Anyway, enough distractions. Let's... All right, this rain is like never ending. Let me sleep to turn this rain off. All right. Hopefully I calculated this right. And wire cutters all right well nothing exploded so that's always a good sign although can i just no i have to right click on say that all right so it does have power so i'm curious if i just do that does this have power? That does not have power. Do I have to run a cable out of this? I should have made a couple extra cables. Uh, now that I'm thinking about it. I'll throw a couple more. Oh, I had a annealed right there. Um, I'm just do... Yeah, I'm just going to do a 2x, I guess, because right now I can only think of two machines that are going to go in this uh, room. They may need other other machines later. Might need a clean room, but I have not noticed that um, from browsing NEI. So, uh, yeah, I don't know when we will have to expand this. Um... But, yeah, it shouldn't be too bad to expand. If I expand upward, then I don't have to craft any more of these filters. If I expand out that way, or the sideways, I would have to build more of those, because I believe these need to be the whole top of the room. Okay, so let's see. Does, does that connect? It's okay, it does connect. I'm so worried something's going like, to explode, but these, I mean, these things have a huge blast resistance. Um, all right, so that still doesn't have power. Does this have power? That has power. Um, okay, so do I... I'm just trying all sorts of things here. Maybe it's like this. No, that doesn't seem to have power. Um, let me, I'll attempt to hook it up to the other thing in a second, but let me, um, I don't know, I usually need a bunch of these tin wires, so. <clears throat> Let's just double check. This has no power. No. All right. So let's try the other side. Oh, see, that didn't even attach. Yeah, that doesn't attach to that. 
All right, so a little confused how we get power to these machines. Um, I need to um, yeah, I'm going to need to um, test this out in a test world or look up. I thought it came through these machine holes, but these aren't, these haven't changed like, I thought they would change and they didn't. So maybe that is one of the reasons they're not working. Um, like they didn't turn, like usually when the block forms, they turn, but it doesn't say there is a, doesn't say there's any issues with the thing. Um, but yeah, I thought the, uh, it was items, fluids, and energy. I thought that's what the, why it had to clear off three of the machine holes. And it is, yep, yeah, MV machine holes. So, all right, well, that's going to be it for this episode. Let me do some testing in a test world and see if I can figure out how the this multiple lock works. Well, at least we got it built here. Um, so that's good. And I may do some crafting and uh, craft up a advanced circuit assembly machine. And that way we can start crafting uh, maybe even uh, we do have blue plastic boards. Yeah, I could even Oh, I don't know if we're going to, yeah, so this one uses one, this uses two, so this is more expensive, but you can use it to craft the machine, so yeah, um, I'm still kind of trying to wrap my head around the whole, um, how circuits, like how the different tiers are, because um, it is quite different from Greg Block, um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this episode, and uh, so thanks for watching and have a good one.